What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I've got a unique <sighs> item to talk about here today. This is uh, from Chavez Knives. This is the Chub, the Chavez Handy Utility Blade. Okay? Um, yeah, let's talk about this thing. So, it is unique. It is it's it's a box cutter okay it is a upgraded version of your standard box cutter okay we all have one of these we have all used one of these we have all seen these a hundred times a day we see these all the time right this is just a fancy version of that that has some pros and some cons to your traditional utility knife. And we'll talk about those as we go. Is it worth the price of admission to have a fancy utility knife? I don't know. Gonna leave that up to you as we go through this little discussion here. But that could be said for pretty much any of the knives that we collect or are enthusiastic about because do you really need more than the 30 to 40 dollar uh, honey badger or the you know 30 ish dollar kubi kb237 like do we need more than this in a knife uh, some would argue no these are all luxury items that we have you know does does the Red Horse Knife Works cut any better than the Kubi? No. Does it cost significantly more? Sure. Does the Frank Fisher Battle cut any better or worse than the Kubi? No, it, it, it opens the Amazon boxes the same. It just costs more because of the materials, because of the hand finishing, the craftsmanship, all those things, right? And we've talked about that a lot on this channel. So take it from knives to utility blades. And here we are, same thing, okay? Standard utility blade is going to cost you, you know, 10 bucks at, at your local hardware store, 10, $12 maybe. And inside of it, it's got some other extra razor blades, right? You gotta unscrew this, take it apart, flip the blade when you need to, right? Or if, this end gets dull, you still have to take it apart, flip the blade around, put it back together, and you're off to the races. Okay, same thing here. And let's zoom in because this is small size. So this has three different opening spots. One, two, and three. So you can get some leverage out there. You can get some reach to do your cutting you can open it exactly the same distance as your standard utility knife, okay? Um, and, and this one also has some different um, opening and closing, opening stops also. It's got three as well, so that you can just bring a little bit of the blade out, much like this. You can put it on a small setting and you can get just a little bit of the blade out, basically the same here so that you can open a box and not cut the material or the item that is inside of the box, right? So there is some flexibility there. These do come in multiple different um, configurations. You can anodize these, it's titanium, it's got a pocket clip, which your standard one does not have a pocket clip. This is smaller, fits in your hand better but this one gives you some more leverage and if you're going to be cutting boxes and breaking down cardboard for an extended period of time, the bigger one might feel better in your hand. So it, it's just really like, what is it that you want to do, right? And let's get the price out of the way right now. Your standard box cutter utility knife is in that 10 to $12 range. These are listed right now 
this particular one on the Wild About Sporting Goods website because I totally forgot to mention this was sent in by Wild About Sporting Goods. My buddy Gil. Promo code, link in the description, all that jazz. It's $185 in just standard stone wash like this. Yeah, 185 bucks. Is that worth it? Well, for us guys that are collecting knives and wear it as pocket jewelry and whatnot, yeah, it is. It's cool. Now, one advantage over the standard utility blade, in my opinion, is toolless uh, blade changing. Okay, it takes your standard razor blades and it's kind of like a, um, I'm gonna say a frame lock, but you push down on this side here and you can then slide your blade in and out to line up. So this middle part here will push to the side, releasing, see if I can show you there, releasing that little nub that fits into the razor blade uh, holes. So that gives you a couple of options, right? You can then, if you need more cutting edge, you can slide it out to one of the farther holes. Now when you do that, and you close this all the way, the blade is still going to be sticking out. I didn't get that into the hole properly here. Let's, there you go. So when you close it now, that is fully closed because you have the blade at kind of its farthest point if you need some extra cutting edge. If you need less, you just put it in the middle. Once this side gets dull, flip it around and off you go. Okay, again, super easy to uh, use. So that is very nice toolless uh, usage of changing the blades. That I like. If you're just doing a few cuts, this gives you enough room. Let's zoom back out here. You have enough room to hold on to this, right? Because this mechanism actually sticks out farther in its fully open state to give you more grip, right? If you open it just in the middle where your typical utility knife comes out, you have a little less grip, a little less purchase for your thumb. But here, you can get whittling away on some cardboard for a while. I mean, it is very comfortable, okay? So I think it's pretty cool. It's, you know, much smaller than the standard utility blade. And I did some measurements, but we won't go through all of the specs because nobody needs to know the blade thickness and all of the stuff I normally rattle off. But these weigh in at 2.4 ounces versus 5.8 ounces. It is, you know, three and a quarter inches overall. So it is slim and it is uh, 0.399 thick minus the clip. Yes, you can take it apart if you need to. It's just a standard Torx, probably a T6 or T8. But all in all, it it's a pretty cool thing. Am I going to rush out and buy one? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's not worth it, but I don't need one. So I'm going to skip this thing. I have been really good lately about not just buying everything that is shiny, okay? And doing the squirrel thing. But I think it's pretty cool. And for us guys that are into stuff that is cool, there's a cool factor to this. There really is. And if you show up at job site, if you're working the trades and whatnot, this would be a cool thing to throw in your bag. You have spent a lot more money on tools than the 185 bucks, right? So, I, I you know, my, my work boots cost more than this. So, I th see this as an absolute tool that if I was still out in the field, in the trades, that I would most certainly have in my tool bag because of the cool factor and because it's so easy to change the blades. Now, granted, this does not have on... Uh, on site, I don't know if that's the right word, but it doesn't have extra blades inside whereas these do have extra blades inside. So that, that's a little bit of a negative maybe, but 
you can easily flip it without tools. So I think that gives you that advantage to then having blades on board that you need a tool to use. So let me know what you guys think. And if anybody has one of these, please chime in on the comments and let me know how you like it and how you use it because I'm very interested because I think it's a very cool nifty little uh, thing. So I'll just do one little size comparison here with the Sharpie just so you guys get an idea of how small it really is. So thanks for watching everyone. I do greatly appreciate it. Go check out Gil's website down below. Uh, he has all kinds of cool stuff and with the promo code, it's good for everything on his website. Knives, flashlights, pens, you name it. He's got it. And uh, go get some, uh, go get a discount. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.